So we have a variable resistor connected in series with a cell, and we're told the cell has internal resistance, so let's just quickly draw that on. There is the internal resistance, and this is the, the external resistance. And we're told that we're increasing the resistance of the variable resistor, so this is going up. So as voltage splits in the same ratio as resistance, four resistors in series, so this resistor, this resistor here, the two of them are in series, so if one of the resistances goes up, if this one goes up, it gets a greater share of the voltage. And this internal resistance gets a lower share of the voltage. So we're looking at what happens to the voltmeter reading. So the voltmeter is connected across the cell, but that is no different to connecting it across the external resistor that we have here. So if I were to draw the voltmeter here, or if I drew the voltmeter here, or if we consider where it is to begin with, all of those positions are exactly the same. On one side of the voltmeter, in all of these three positions, on one side you have the external load, and on the other side you have the cell. So the voltage across the cell, or the terminal PD, the voltage across the terminals of the, of the cell, is the same as the voltage across the external load. So then, if we know that this resistance here is increasing, and it now gets a greater share of the voltage, then the voltmeter here will detect a greater voltage as well. The terminal voltage will go up. So we know that that's going to increase. And if the external resistor's resistance has gone up, that means the total resistance goes up because the total resistance is equal to the resistance of the variable resistor plus that of the internal resistance. Total resistance goes up, and if that's the case, if we consider V is equal to IR, if our voltage, which is effectively our EMF in this case, if that remains constant and our resistance goes up, then that means our current will go down. So therefore it must be C.